Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob, AKA The Diligent Dev, and welcome back to part three of our photo sharing app. In this section, we're gonna look at how to display our photos inside of our app and also a map with map pins on all the different locations that we've taken our photos. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are over the computer. I have our project all loaded up in Visual Studio Code and I have our emulator running, which I went down to the terminal and ran Ionic Serve to get that up and running. Now, the way I envision our app working is that our second tab will display all the photos that we've taken and the third tab will display a map with map pins of all the locations that we've taken those photos. So what I wanna do right now is change these icons and tab names so they reflect a more accurate description. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to SRC, Views, and we're gonna go to Tabs. Now in here, if we scroll down a little bit, we see this is where our icons are being imported. And instead of the ellipse and the square, what we're gonna do is import images and map. Then we're gonna come down to our setup method and we need to return these to the template so that it can use them. So we'll do images and map. Then we will come up here and for the icon on the second tab, we're gonna do our images and we will name this tab images. And then we will do an icon of map on this one and we will name it map. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And if we now look at the emulator, we have our images icon and images as the tab name and the map and map as tab name. The next thing we're gonna do is work on our images tab to display the images. So that is under tab two, so we'll head over there. The first thing I'm gonna do is go into this ion content and we're just gonna go ahead and remove everything out of here. We'll remove the explorer container and we'll also remove that as an imported component. Up here, we need to import a few Ionic components. We're gonna do an Ion Spinner, Ion Label, Ion Card, and Ion Image. And then we'll go ahead and take all these and not lie on Ion Card. We will take these newly imported and we'll copy them and we'll go ahead and just register them as components. I'm gonna hit Alt Shift F to format everything so we can see it a little bit better here. Next to the top, we're going to import a couple things we'll need from view. We're going to import reactive and two refs from view. And then we're also going to import db and auth from our main.js or main.ts. Then down in our export default, create our setup method. The first thing we're gonna do is set up our state. So we'll say const state equals reactive and we'll pass in an object. And in here we'll say photos. We'll make it an array as string array. And then we'll also do loading and we'll set that to false. Underneath our state, we'll create our method to fetch our photos. So we'll say const fetch photos equals async. Let me scroll down so we can see this a little bit better. The first thing we're gonna do is set our state.loading equal to true because we wanna display a loader when we're going and fetching photos. Then we're gonna grab the user, so we'll say const user equals auth dot current user. Then we're gonna go and reach out to our database, our Firestore, so we'll say const snap equals await db dot collection. We're gonna reference the users collection and we're going to grab the documents of the current user, so user dot uid. Then we're gonna go and grab a sub collection called images, and this needs to be wrapped in quotes. And at the end, we'll just say dot get. Do Alt Shift F on that to make it look a little bit better. Next, we're going to check to see if we have anything inside of our snapshot. So we're gonna say if 
exclamation snap dot empty. So check to see that our snapshot is not empty. We're gonna say snap dot docs dot for each. We will loop through the docs in there. The first thing we're gonna do is get our document data. So we're gonna say cons data equals doc dot data. And then we're gonna say if data dot image state dot photos dot push data dot image. And then down at the bottom of this method, we will just set state.loading back to false. The last thing we need to do right outside of this method is call our fetch photos so that it fires on the page load. So we'll say fetch photos. And then we're going to return to the template our photos. And in order to do that, we're going to say dot, 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 two refs state below our script tag i'm going to make a style tag and i'm going to make a style called center we're going to give it a display of flex align items equal to center justify content equal to center and we're going to give it a height of ADVH or view height. Up at the top, we'll go up and edit our template. So instead of our ion title being tab two, we're going to rename this to images. I'm going to take this ion content and I'm going to copy it and paste. I'm gonna get rid of this full screen and I'm gonna say V if loading. If we are loading, I'm going to create a div with a class of center. And then inside of this div, we're going to do an ion spinner. And I'm going to give this a color of primary. Down on the next ion content, we'll do a V else. And this is where we'll display our images. So in here, I'm going to say div, we're going to do a V if on this, and we're going to check that photos.length is greater than zero. And if it is, we're going to do an ion card. And on this ion card, we're going to do a V4 because we're going to display images on these cards. So I'm going to say V4 photo and index in photos, I'm going to give it a key equal to index. And then inside of the card, I'm going to do an ion image. And we're going to set the source equal to photo. Down below this div right here, we're going to do another div with the style of center. We'll do a V else on this. And if there are no photos, we're just going to do an ion label. And inside of the ion label, we're just going to say there are no photos to display. I'm just gonna go ahead and save everything doesn't look like we're getting any errors, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on our images tab, our loader displayed, and now you can see all of our images. They're in our card, so they have nice rounded corners, and it would allow our users to scroll through our images. And now that we have our images displaying inside of the app, let's go ahead and focus on the map tab where we're gonna display a map. It's going to be a Google map and we're gonna display pins of every place that we've taken a photo. Now, in order to use Google Maps, you're going to need a Google Maps API key. And I'm not gonna walk you through exactly how to do this, but I'm going to leave a link in the description with instructions on how to get a Google Maps API key. So go ahead and pause the video here and go grab your Google Maps API key if you don't already have one. After you have your key, we're going to head to public and index.html and Google Maps will give you a script that you're going to want to copy and paste into here right before this closing head tag. 
Just go ahead and paste that in. It is our Google Maps script tag, and you're gonna wanna replace this with your API key. After you have that all set up, head over to SRC, Views, and Tab 3. This is where our map is going to be displayed. Now at the top of the script tag, we're going to make a couple of changes here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tell TypeScript not to check for errors, and we're also going to disable ESLint. And the reason that we're doing that is because this file cannot pick up on the fact that we have that script tag in our index.html, and it's going to throw a lot of errors when we try to write our code. So to do this, we're gonna do two forward slashes and then at ts dash no check. And then we're going to do a forward slash and an asterisk and say es lint dash disable. And we'll do another asterisk and another forward slash. Next, we're going to import ref and on mounted from view, and we're also going to import our db and auth from our main.ts file. Next, we'll come down into our export default, and we'll create our setup method. We're going to say const map ref equals ref null and what this will do is it'll reference a div inside of our template tag with the ref of map next we'll create a method we'll say const add map this will be an async method next we'll create our initial latitude and longitude so we're going to say const lat long equals new google.maps.latlng and I'm just gonna copy and paste in some numbers here and essentially what these are is it's going to center our map in the United States and as always you can find a Bitbucket repo attached to this where you can find all of this code. Next we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna add our map options. So I'm gonna say const map options equals this is going to be an object we're gonna say center equal to our lat long that we specified above. Zoom is going to be three. And map type ID is going to equal google.maps.map type ID and roadmap. Then below this, we're gonna say let map equal new Google dot maps dot map. And we're going to pass in the map ref dot value and our map options. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get all of our pins. So in order to do that, we're going to grab the user and that will be auth dot current user. Then we're gonna go grab a snapshot from our database. So we'll say const snap equals await db.collection. We're going to reference the users collection dot documents. And we're gonna go with the user dot UID. And then we're going to grab a sub collection off of user called images. and do a get on that. Next, we're going to check to see if our snapshot is empty. So we're gonna say if exclamation point snap dot empty to ensure that we have documents in there, we're gonna do snap dot docs dot for each and pass in the document. We're gonna say const data equals doc dot data We're gonna say var image lat lng equals new google dot maps dot lat long and we're going to pass in data dot location dot lat 
and data dot location dot lawn. Outside of this, we're going to declare our marker and we'll use a const for this and we will set this equal to new Google dot maps dot marker. We're going to pass in an object and we'll say position and that will be image lat long. And then outside of this marker, we're just going to say marker dot set map and pass in the map that we declared. And we might as well make this a const as well since we're not resetting it. Then below this, outside of our method here, let me find the closing tag is right there. So I'm going to bring this back up. And outside of the method, we're going to do on mounted. And as soon as we are mounted, we're going to add the map because we're going to want to make sure that our div that we're going to be injecting the map is into is mounted onto the screen. And then below this, we're just going to return map ref. Hit Alt Shift F to format everything. Below our script tag, I'm going to set a style. In there, we will do an ID map and set the style for that of width equal to 100% and height also equal to 100%. And now that we have that all set up, let's scroll up to the template. Inside of our template, this ion content tag, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of this. We will remove the Explorer container and we're also going to remove it from our registered components. And then up here, we're going to create a div. We're going to give it an ID of map and a ref equal to map ref. I'm gonna go ahead and save everything. And we will head over to our map tab. And I'm getting an error. So what I'm going to do is inspect. And it's saying Google is not defined. So let me scroll down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control C to stop our emulator. And then I'm going to do Ionic Serve. And after I've restarted it back up, you see we now have our map on the map tab. And you'll see that our first image, we did Google's headquarters. So let's go ahead and just zoom in on that. And if we zoom way in here, you'll see that we have the Googleplex. And if I zoom back out, this was a photo that I took and let the browser determine my location. So I'm not going to go all the way in on it or else you'd know exactly where I live. But I do live in Northeastern Ohio. So that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you got any value out of this, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, please feel free to drop a line in the comment section below. And until next time, happy coding.